Hello everybody, I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you the Cherry Holmes. Bluegrass music has many new fans in Europe who may be hearing about you for the first time. So how would you describe the music you play to someone who's never seen or hear you before? Well, bluegrass uh, music is roots music in uh, our country, but uh, our music is an interpretation of bluegrass music and it has a, a, a lot more power, uh, a lot more drive, and I like to call it uh, bluegrass on steroids. So that's what typifies our music. It's got a lot of variety, it's got some Celtic influence, old time influence, and uh, traditional influence, but it's our music, we write it. So, what's your latest CD and how is it doing? Our latest CD is called Cherry Homes 3, Don't Believe, and it's doing very well. It has a, a lot to offer, a lot of different types of audiences, in its um, kind of a cross bluegrass acoustic feel. And we've recut one of the singles on there for our first country single, and that's been getting a lot of airplay. Uh, the album has been doing very well. Um, please tell us about the songs on your album. Uh, the songs on our our last record are um, uh, quite a variety. Like uh, Dad said, uh, they uh, we write the majority of the music that is on our uh, our album, and we really enjoy doing that because we feel we can interpret it um, better with the music that we play, and uh, we get a lot of influences. Um, very multicultural as far as what we like to listen to on a regular basis. So we get a lot of influences from anything from old time, like you said, to, to R&B music, to rock music. It's all not necessarily the, the music itself, but the interpretation of it um, and the influence. It can bring a wide variety to our music. Do you have any interesting stories about how fans being affected by your music? We've actually had um, some really neat things happen when we've been out on the road playing and some of them have actually been when we've been over in Europe because our music over there is so different from what a lot of people are used to. Here it kind of becomes a little old hat for some people, mainly because they, they have more of it that they can, it's easy, easily accessible for them. But um, one of our favorite memories that we have is when we were in Switzerland and they have a really big country music festival. And it's American country music. So what they do is they all dress up like cowboys and they hang Harley motorcycles in the corners of each building and they put a bunch of American flags and rebel flags going across the ceiling. So we always get a kick out of it when we go over there and they line dance to our music. And it's neat for us to get to see people enjoy something that's so typically American. So, what do you think about today's bluegrass music versus its roots, and where do you see it going in the future? Um, I think that uh, bluegrass exists on two different planes. Uh, one of them is definitely the roots, the traditional, the original, and that's kind of, to, to me, is kind of like um, a, a heritage thing. Uh, it, it's like uh, preserving an old house. Uh, for history, um, but bluegrass as an art form, uh, of course, uh, evolutionary pressures exist in every art form, and so there is uh, constantly bands who are looking at the music as an art form, and so it evolves, and it grows, and there's different interpretations. So uh, our music is more like that. It's, it's more of an art form. We create it. Uh, rather than just the, the roots, people who want to preserve it, uh, the part that we're in grows. So what's unique about you that differentiates you from other bands? Um, we have a little bit more of an upbeat, modern, uh, even look to our performances. Uh, Basically, I, we move around a lot more than most bands do. We we work kind of a single mic, what's called a single mic situation on stage. It's not really a single mic anymore. We used to do a lot of that uh, in our beginning stages, but we move around a lot around one center vocal mic. Uh, 
mixed with some wireless channels and stuff like that. So we have a little bit more of a modern approach to our music, uh, a little bit more modern approach to our dress. Uh, we, like Dad said, we have a little bit more of a uh, cutting edge to our music that grows rather than just uh, preserves the tradition. So we do have a lot of that as well. But I believe the main difference is that our uh, performance is more of a show rather than an actual musical performance. It's more of a, uh, a planned out uh, variety act with you know lots of music, lots of different styles, lots of different uh, approaches to how we play things, and everything is all planned out. You know, nothing is off the cuff. So it's uh, it, it's really more of like a variety, you know, trip kind of a thing. What moments in your career stand out in your memories as highlight and achievements which you are proud of? Well, one very major one that stands out in my mind is the fact that this year, 2009, was our 10th anniversary as playing together as a family. Um, over that last 10 years, we've been recognized with several awards like the IBMA Entertainer of the Year, uh, four Grammy Award nominations, uh, countless, you know, achievements that we've done over the years that I've, we've all been very proud of, we work very hard for, and it's been, you know, very interesting to see how people have accepted us, and that's something, you know, our music is very different, people take to it with different opinions, and, um, but all in all, the the actual music that we create is something I'm proud of. What can fans expect to see when they see you in concert? Uh, they can expect to see a very high-powered show. It's very high velocity. We put a lot of energy, a lot of time into our performances. Uh, lots of movement. Uh, sometimes we get dad up there to tell a really funny joke or a couple people feel that it's funny. <laughs> there might be two or three people out there that laugh and I guess, you know, I guess that's all we need. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I, th I think that fans can expect, uh, a very 150% put into our performances because we're, uh, we're totally into our music and, uh, we put out a lot of energy out on the stage. Many music fans get their information about artists via the internet. So, do you have uh, your own website and what will fans find there? Yes, we do. We have our main website at cherryhomes.com. Uh, we have a lot of other different sites, the MySpace, Facebook, I Like, Twitter, YouTube. We have a whole lot of uh, information on all of those different sites. You can find our schedule. Uh, WSM Online, uh, we're fortunate enough to be on the Opry every month. You can usually hear that live on WSM Online. Just look at our schedule. Uh, we have a full traveling schedule and we do get over into Europe and other countries as often as we can. Uh, so we hope you'll sign up on our sites. There's product, merchandise, CDs, uh, and a chance just to connect and make some friends. Uh, so come be one of our friends. So let me thank you for all the interview. It was great to meet you and hope to see you soon in Europe again. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.